and welcome to this video. Happy spooky month and happy Halloween. In this video I will be attempting making a spiderweb egg sack. Basically some white yarn soaked in some glue and water wrapped around a balloon and left out to dry. Pop the balloon and well out you do have the item. If you have no idea what I'm talking about this is basically what it looks like. I have seen them all over Pinterest and I really do want to make some. So for this craft I'm going to need a bucket of supplies. I do have my scissors, some glue that I'm going to mix with some water to get the right consistency to soak my white yarn in. I do have something to mix the mixture together with. Some balloons. And a mixing bowl to mix it all in. I also do have some black yarn that I want to make to create some teeny tiny spiders that are going to be crawling up the egg sac. So in case anyone was wondering what the item really is, then there should be no doubt. Following the theme of these types of videos, I am basically testing out a craft that I have never done before, showing you my trials and errors, my mistakes, basically, so you don't have to. And also what I did to fix them, so this is a learning experience for both of us. With that being said, that should be all I'm going to need to get this craft going, so let's get started. I just wanted to note one thing in particular. I did the whole soaking the yarn and applying the yarn to the balloon with my bare hands. Huge mistake. My fingers are now covered in blisters and it hurts and it stings and it's not a good deal. So if you're going to do this then please, please, please use gloves. You're going to thank me later. So starting off I will be mixing the mixture of glue and water. I think equal parts will do the trick. And also if you are wondering about my nails, I do have a tutorial on these exact nails coming up. Also how I managed to get this pumpkin shape on it. I did also a orange tip with a 90 degree angle and some matte black on the bottom there. So if you're wondering about how I got the transition to go from orange to black there, then keep your eyes peeled for that tutorial. It's coming up shortly. Out with the yarn. So I think with the yarn it is better to be safe than sorry. So I'm taking like maybe 10 meters, something like that. And I'm just dunking it all into the mixture here. I'm also making sure just to keep a edge of the yarn out of the mixture just to be sure that I like I do have something to hold on to so that I don't struggle with finding the end of the yarn. Like ish size of my head. All right, let's get to wrapping. How do one start with this? Like where I most definitely will be gluey all over my fingers, but how do you like to just slap it on there and just hope for the best. Okay, let's just slap it on there then. You see, I do have a loose thread here. Where do you belong? Can I just... Be a little sneaky? We snuck. We snuck it. But now I do have another. Okay. 
So here goes to say, if it's not broken, don't try to fix it. I think we'll just do it all over again. what I wanted one more okay so I guess I'll just have to buy more yarn more yarn yes I'm yarn yearning for more yarn moment of truth the balloon or exec or whatever you want to call it has been drying for a couple of days now I have been poking at it uh, with my finger on the balloon so that the uh, thread or the yarn should like let go from the balloon itself so I think it's just time to pop the balloon and just see what it turns out to be so here is my Balloon with the spiders. These are my spiders. This is my spider army. They actually turned out quite nice. I did not think they would turn out this this black. All right, so I have been poking at this. Like you can see, there's some places here where the yarn kind of has shifted. Like, this shit is stuck to the balloon. So, I really want to do this because I think this is just going to deflate and just be broken. Okay. okay, so here you can see the balloon. It looks pretty nice. Okay, here goes nothing. I did, I did not think that this was going to work out. Oh my god! Okay, so this is my egg sack. It is really cool and I love it. And this is my buddy and he lives here. Look at that! That is so awesome! Alright, so that completes this spider web egg sack craft. If you want to stay on, that would be nice. Thank you. It is not a very difficult project. The thing that takes the longest time is for the yarn to... Please, sir, stay on. This is your home now. 
pour the yarn to dry that is basically the thing that takes the most time you can also instead of these to make these spiders you can just take some toy spiders or you can just take no spiders at all that's completely up to you thank you so much for watching if you would like to please subscribe and like this video for more content like this apart from that have a wonderful rest of your day bye But I don't know what you're saying I don't know, don't know what you're saying